So what are we doing? Um, so we've sent the boys to Bunnings to basically buy everything we could possibly need to make this rocket happen. We're going to make some phone calls, right? I think we're going to need to make some phone calls, yeah. Oh, good day, Brad. Um, my name's David Cumming. I'm the secretary for the New South Wales Rocketry Association. So we're launching a new beer. It's called APL. Someone came up with the ingenious idea. To build a rocket and see if we can launch the beer as high as humanly possible and then hopefully parachute it back down to Earth in like three weeks. Makes total sense. Yeah. I think I would have made a very good uh, spaceman. Uh, sure. What were you told to get from Bunnings? Some stuff to build a rocket? We did get a lot of fuel. We're set for a couple of rockets worth. <laughs> Darling Indigo. And we're meant to get paint for the aesthetics. Well, I don't think we actually got the paint, but... No. Are we were thinking within the next three weeks. What are the most common reasons why a rocket launch would fail? The rocket becomes unstable. The right distribution of mass right off of the launch rail. Lose a fin. Sufficient speed. You're not moving fast enough. Too fast, too quickly. Yeah, not feeling great. Yeah. Cool, we talked to NASA though. So you're saying we can't just go to Bunnings and find stuff to build a rocket? Yeah, not with these big motors. We didn't necessarily get all rocket things. What do we have here? Sometimes as CEO of an organization, uh, you really have to just follow your, your gut instinct on what sound business decisions really are. Um, so I might actually have a rocket vehicle. Oh. Oh. Which might be suitable. Could we put an open esky at the other side of the field? Yeah, just get Pat to stand there with the esky trying to catch. With the right size motor, you could actually get the right blast cap to push your beer can out and you could have the parachute on top of it. Not only do they know how to build a rocket, um, they have some motors that we can look at. Definitely gonna need that for our accountant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that was a complete failure. No. Yeah. Great success. Rocket? How did it go? I think we're ready for launch. All right. Let's see. Cool. What do you got? We really thought what we were missing was another launch partner. <laughs> Cannot cope with those two. He's your husband. <laughs> Why did I marry him? Remind me. Okay, but literally, okay. is this all you bought? Yeah. <laughs> you were gone for like two hours. <laughs> Even bought a couple of things that we were supposed to get. I think we only got stuff we needed. Yeah. Which is pretty good for us. It's pretty damn good for us. Well, that was easy. I don't know what NASA's on about. It's pretty simple in the end. Yeah. Ten. No. It's like, we're not professional astronauts. Not yet, no. But I think we could be. I think uh, the know. learnings from Al, I don't want to say failure because... Nothing's a failure. Until you stop trying. Exactly, and we haven't stopped. We haven't and stopped we trying, stop. no we way. Stop. We have people that know rockets. We have people that have NASA in their title. We've heard that two weeks is feasible. We also have a f***ing gorilla. Yeah, we have a gorilla.